Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's reading. Um, we're gonna be talking about love. <laughs> um, this is the client's um, single forecast reading. Um, and I have, I need to move you. <laughs> Put you over here. Um, please bear with me. I have a broken froggy voice because I am sick, um, but hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. Um, so please bear with me. I am going to be working with the gorgeous um, Art of Love Tarot. This is the first time that I'm actually filming reading with this deck, so <laughs> I'm excited to see how how it plays out, but I thought it would be perfect for your reading. Um, I'm also gonna pull from the Rider Waite and the chakra reading cards because I really wanted to kind of see what energies you're playing with um, because the single um, the singles reading is um, we're getting insight on <clears throat> you you being single what is to come in the future but also based on your question you mentioned that you've been single for quite a while um, and you just kind of want some insight as to what you are working with. So, like, what's going on? Why am I single for so long? Like, that kind of thing. So, I felt like the chakra cards would be perfect for you um, to kind of give me an idea of what kind of energies we're playing with with you, as well as what the cards show. So, what I'm going to do is um, just shuffle the cards. So that we could begin. I could smell the lavender. <laughs> I was spraying these cards with lavender spray um, when I was breaking them in. And oh my gosh, every time I shuffle them now, they smell like lavender. I love it. just going to focus on why my client is single, what energies they're playing with, and what is to come. Relationships is the first card I pull for you. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, um, I'm seeing with relationships and family is at the core here. Um, relationships and family at the core is telling me needing to bring together um like what is most important for you is is creating and building that family dynamic okay it's also really important for you that you have someone or that you meet somebody who is very family oriented whether they want to create a family or they want to or they're all about family like they're all about spending time you know with their loved ones and they're very heartfelt and warm to their parents or their brothers and sisters or whatnot. You want someone who's very much um, associated with their family. They are very close with them. Um, relationships coming up right off the bat is telling me that your energy is more than ready. You are more than ready to have a relationship. It's on your mind, um, a lot of fiery. But what I'm seeing that you are lacking as far as like the, the chakra reading goes, 
lacking green energy, which is heart, your heart chakra, um, which is actually the energy that actually um, that you use to to receive love or what you give love, okay, as that filter. So the fact that it's lacking in, in this reading says a lot. Um, to me, it shows either you don't have enough, perhaps, um, confidence in yourself, self-love wise. Maybe there's a little bit of a disconnect there. Um, or it could be, you know, maybe you need to devote a little bit more of your time and energy into how you, um, how you, you connect on an emotional level with people. Um, it could be that maybe that is something that these potential lovers find um, a little bit distracting about you. Perhaps they don't feel that, that connection. Okay. Um, it could be an emotional detachment. <sighs> we have Mother Earth and Rebirth. I love Mother Earth because this is really making me feel like um, you needing to, to really disconnect from the soil that you were brought into this world with, okay? So in other words, I feel this means cutting the cords with a lot of your family, your parents, um, or just cutting cords with a lot of people that maybe are, are keeping you from fully fully diving into your potential with what love can bring. Um, moving out of the house, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like it's nourishing your own soil is what I'm getting from this as well. Um, I really want to say tending to yourself. Self-love is big. That's like another one that keeps coming up rebirth is, is a, it's like another a reawakening um rebirth energy with reawakening is like you are giving yourself um another another chance to start over this could also be getting rid of the past rebirth could be sorry if you hear the noise in the background the dogs are like scratching at the door to come inside but they're not coming in yet <laughs> Um, rebirth could be you're scratching at the scratching oh, you're um, needing to get away from the past and needing to step away from exes or um, looking to the past at your mistakes perhaps maybe you are hard on yourself about that um, but I'm getting like the feeling of like replenishing your soil I just feel like maybe it's a need to um, Find your own, like your own ground to create your new foundation, you know? It's not under the under the eyes of family members if you live at home, you know? I don't know your situation, but um, Mother, Mother Earth just makes me feel that way. It's also, I feel it's also like disconnecting with people. Not taking, also not listening to a lot of opinions of family, okay? Maybe mother or mom is like really outspoken about your love, um, your love life or the way that you conduct your dating. Um, so I feel like that's also really important to, to say there too. Personal power and communication. Personal power, this is why I was seeing the self-love because personal power to me is when you are completely you love yourself, you respect yourself, and you are so confident in yourself. Personal power is like it's there. You feel like you can take charge and you can do it. Um, communication to me is it's very important that you find a mate that you can communicate with. I also feel like personal power is kind of saying you don't need um, love to define your ability to be strong and your ability to be an independent. You don't need love to define that for you. You don't need another person. Um, so really, I'm trusting that you have the confidence here. You should have that confidence in yourself. Um, communication to me is, like I said, <coughs> you need a lover who is going to communicate with you, who is going to be open with you, that you feel like, almost like you guys can share or, or finish each other's sentences, you know. You need someone that you just feel like you're on the same page with. That's a nice little insight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice little insight on your energy. But let's talk about the future. So I would say based on your energy, um, 
I feel like you you just you need mature love. I feel like you've dated enough and you've met enough people um, that are like just they 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 weren't good enough for you. They weren't settled in their own life. You need like the next phase. You need somebody who's ready to be serious and who's ready to give you all of their um, attention versus advice and vice versa. You giving them all of your attention. You need someone who's going to be serious and who is well established in their own life because you know when you're established in yours and they are established in theirs it's a hell of a lot easier to come together as one um i will say that for sure so we have the knight of stars the three of angels and the king of stars i love it so <laughs> um i see this as two people coming up okay so this is the future we're talking about. And also keep in mind the future is subject to change based on your present actions. Um, but what I'm seeing is there's going to be two or this could be either um, two different people or it could be the growth of this one individual. But I'm reading it. My intuition told me it was two different people. Um, so adventure and an alchemist, you know, this could be two people of two different types of personalities. One is going to be very adventurous, very maybe outdoorsy, um, they like to travel, they like to, you know, do different things. They're, they're, they have a very um, wild and um, just a daring personality type. Whereas the king of stars, the alchemist is kind of like that creator. This is someone who may be an entrepreneur or someone who is, who is business related or um, they're very good with their money and their spending and they're, they're older. Okay. So this one, a knight and then a king. So one of them may be a little bit older than you. Okay. Um, I'm just literally reading it literal. That's I, how, that's how I like to roll with my future readings, by the way. Um, the three of stars clarification is telling me, um, when you're indecisive between the two suitors that are going to be coming forward, um, it's going to be very important for you to see how you connect with them communication-wise. And I feel like that's why communication came up for you because I feel like communication is revealing um, you need a mate who is, one, going to be honest because communication to me is like you speak, you're being transparent with one another. Um, but also... Somebody that you feel like you could talk easily to and who listens uh, and it's just the, the conversation flows. I feel like that's going to be clarification. That is how you are going to figure out which of the two is worth your time. Yeah. Definitely with the Ace of Cups, these are opportunities of love coming forward. We have the Two of Pentacles, which is you being indecisive about the two, okay? Um, and the Seven of Pentacles is going to kind of say, like, I really feel like this spirit is saying, don't fall for the same old thing and don't fall for the same routine. You need change, okay? And that's also when it comes to the suitors. If you are meeting, if there are seriously two guys or women, I'm sorry, I should not assume, but two individuals who are going to be stepping forward. Um, and maybe one of them, you know, <laughs> maybe one of them is very similar to the type that you usually date. And then the other person is completely different. I feel based on the cards, you've done the whole routine. You've done the whole dating, the same type of personality, you know, that, that same person. Maybe you need to switch it up. So I feel like that's also kind of what the cards are saying is like switching it up. Your fear card or the shadow card at the bottom of the deck is the chariot, which is telling me this is travel. Okay, we could maybe be leading to the night of stars. Um, this could also be just like adventure. It could be risk taker. It could be um, actually moving forward. So maybe you have tendencies to um, delay love because you're afraid of moving forward maybe you're afraid of um trying something new with something somebody different you know it could be a lot of different things like that but i feel like that's what's coming through so definitely um i definitely feel like this is two people coming forward let's let's ask the cards let's just be fun let's let's ask the cards when 
when is this going to happen? We have a six. So we're currently in June. Six could symbolize June. It could also symbolize maybe six days to six weeks to six months from now. Six months from now would be the end of the year. Okay. So perhaps this whole thing will take place within the six months. Um, or it could be the 6th, the 16th, the 26th of the month. You know, that kind of thing. If you want to get technical. I like to throw like the a tendency for a time front a timeline, but um, it's really hard to to say okay, this is when exactly it's gonna happen. So just keep that in mind. Um, I just want to pull really quickly on what you what you need, what you need in love, because we already know in the future that love is on your way. It's on its way. There's gonna be two people coming up. Okay. But what you need out of love, we have the five of stars, so we have diversity. You need change, my love. You need somebody who's different, who's going to introduce you to new things in life, who maybe has a different background, a different um, different nationality, different beliefs, diff something different about them. They're different from what you are usually used to. Seven of stars, having faith, okay? So don't lose your faith in love. Sometimes the best things take a hell of a lot of a time, hell of a long time to happen. So it's worth the wait. And then we have four of stars in advancement. So to me, it's like saying you need, you need love. You need someone who wants to progress forward. Okay. If you meet people and they just tell you, you know, I'm not really looking for anything serious right now, or, you know, I'm not really interested in, in moving forward, or I'm not really, I'm not looking for a family, or I'm not looking to get to settle down and move out, whatever. Don't, don't waste your time on those people. You need someone who's ready to advance. You need someone who has diversity. Here's your king of cups. So this could be maybe the suitor would be a, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a um, a Scorpio. They may be heavy in water energy, or they may just be totally in tune with their emotions. We have the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So perhaps Queen of Swords is your energy, okay? <coughs> maybe that's another reason why communication came up for you, because Queen of Swords loves to talk. She needs someone who's going to keep the conversations interesting, Um it's also very different energy. We have water and, and, and air, which um, sometimes doesn't complement one another. Um, you know, so Queen of Swords can sometimes be a little bit cold, whereas a King of Cups can be very emotionally attached. So it, there's going to need to be a little bit of a balance there. And we have the Two of Wands, which is telling me um, this... this this new love, when it, once you make your decision, here's another two card, right? But once you make your decision, it's, there's this this person is going to show you the world, I feel, because he's holding the globe, you know? He's looking out to see what else is beyond, you know, his home. So I feel like you need someone who's going to help you explore, help you grow out of your shell, step out of your bubble, you know? Um, you need that. And so I really feel like that is going to happen. Um that will take place, but I feel like when you're deciding between two people, I dare you, <laughs> I dare you to try the person who is the least, the one you would least expect to be a lover, okay? We have nurturing, I love it. So you, you, you just, you need love, you need someone to love, you need someone to love you back nurturing your heart um stop looking into the past don't compare them to past lovers and i also feel be daring and try something new try a different type of personality or just someone who's different from what you're used to i think that that's also something you need to look forward to so with that said, my love, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I apologize if my voice was a little bit annoying, you know, but I wanted to get your reading done because um, 
I didn't want you to have to wait till my next filming day. So thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And anyone who's watching, this is the single forecast reading. Um, I have many readings available in my shop. So just have a look at the link below. And um, if you have any questions, you guys can comment or whatever. Send me an email. Um, but I look forward to reading for you guys soon. Thanks, you guys.